In this video, let me explain the given Boolean expression using Quinn McCluskey method. Apply Quinn McCluskey method to find the essential prime implicant for the Boolean expression. Here, function f is given, which are having the mean terms 1, 3, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We are supposed to simplify this using Quinn McCluskey method. So, in Quinn McCluskey method, first let me represent these all min terms in terms of binary that is the given min terms are 1 which can be represented in binary as 0 0 0 1 let me consider this is a b c and d the next min term is 3 that is can be represented as 0 0 1 1 6 that is 0 1 1 0 9 is 1 0 0 1 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, and we have 12 is represented as 1, 1, 0, 0, 13 is represented as 1, 1, 0, 1, 14 is represented as 1, 1, 1, 0, 15 is represented as 1, 1, 1, 1. Let me write the step 1. So, in Quinn McCluskey method, we are supposed to represent these numbers in different groups. Let me write the first group, I will call it as group 1. Here, I will choose the numbers which are having single ones. For example, in 1, we have only 1 is present. So, let me write that in group 1. So, the mean term is 1. It, in binary, it is 0, 0, 0, 1. This is A, B, C and D. So, we cannot find any more number which is having single 1. So, we suppose to put one line here. Now, let me write group 2. In group 2, I will represent the numbers which are having two ones. So, in 3, we are having two ones. That is 0, 0, 1, 1. In 6, we have two ones. 0, 1, 1, 0. In 9, we have two ones. That is 1, 0, 0, 1. Then in 10 we have two ones that is 1 0 1 0 in 12 1 1 0 0. Now let me write group 3. So in group 3 I will choose the numbers which are having three ones. So here we have 7 that is 0 1 1 0 then we have 13. That is 1, 1, 0, 1. We have 14. That is 1, 1, 1, 0. Now let me write group 4. Where I will choose the number which are having 4 ones. So here we have only one number that is 15 which are having 4 ones. So in Quinn McCluskey method, in step 2. So here now we supposed to compare group 1 number with group 2 number such that which is differ by only one bit. Now if I compare 1 and 3, so here it is differ in these two bits. That is here it is 0 and here it is 1. Rest all numbers are same. So in step 2 we have to choose these two min terms. That is 1 and 3 which is differ by only one bit. Let me write first two numbers are same. That is 0, 0. It is differ in third bit. So we supposed to write it as dash. That dash indicates either it is 0 or 1. The next number is 1. Likewise, we have to compare 1 with each number of group 2. So, now let me compare 1 and 6. It is differ by 2 bit. So, we should ignore. Now, if we compare 1 and 9, it is differ by 1 bit. That is, in MSV bit, it is differ. So, I can write 1 and 9. So, here it is dash. The first bit is differ rest all are same that is 0 0 1 so likewise now we let me compare 1 and 10 it is differ by more than one bit we should ignore let me compare 1 and 12 it is differ by three bits we should ignore similarly so comparison between group 1 and group 2 is over we supposed to put one line here like this now let sorry this is 1 so now let me compare 3 and 7 in 3 and 7, it is differ 
by one bit that is second bit here it is zero and here it is one rest all numbers are same so we suppose to choose three and seven the first bit is zero it is different second bit that should be represented as dash next two numbers are one one so let me compare six and seven so in six and seven the first number is same second number is same third number is same it is different fourth bit so i can choose six and seven that is six 7 the first bit is 0 1 1 it is dash similarly now let me compare 6 and 13 it is differ by more than one bit we should ignore now 6 and 14 so it is differ in msb bit that is here it is 1 here it is 0 rest all numbers are same so i will choose 6 and 14 that is dash 1 1 0 now similarly let me compare 9 with 7 here we can see that in 9 we have 1001, here we have 0111. So it is differ by more than 1 bit. We should ignore. Now let me compare 9 and 13. Here we have 1001, here we have 1101. So here we can see that the second bit is differ by 1 bit, rest all bits are same. So let me consider 9 and 13. That is 9 and 13. That is MSB bit is same. That is 1 dash 0 1 dash 0 1. That is 1 dash 0 1. Now let me compare 9 with 14. Again it is differ by more than 1 bit. We should ignore. So now let me compare 10 with 7. So here 1 0 1 0. Here we have 0 1 1 1. It is differ by more than one bit. Let's ignore this. Let me compare 10 and 13. It is also differ by more than one bit. When we compare 10 and 14, we have differ by one bit. That is second bit. So here we have 1010. Here we have 1110. It is differ by this bit. Let me consider 10 and 14, which can be written as 1. It is differ by second bit. Put dash. Rest two bits are same similarly compare 12 with 7 so it is differ by more than one bit when we compare 12 and 13 here we have 1100 here we have 1101 so lsb bit is differ by one bit so let me consider 12 and 13 that is 12 13 we have 110 dash Now let me consider 12 and 14. So again in 12 and 14, it is differ by one bit. That is second bit. Now let me consider 12 and 14. That is we have 1, 1, dash, we have 0. So group 2 to group 3 comparison is done. Now we supposed to compare group 3 data with group 4. Let's put one horizontal line here for differentiate. Now let me compare group 3 with group 4. So let me compare 7 with 15. It is differ by 1 bit. That is 7, 15. We have dash 1, 1, 1. So let me compare 13 and 15. It is differ by 1 bit. That is 13, 15. We have 1, 1, dash 1. 1 1 dash 1. Now let me compare 14 and 15. It is differ by LSB bit. 14, 15. We have 1 1 1 dash. So in step 2, now these two are in group 1 and these all are in group 2 and these all are in group 3. So now we supposed to compare group 1 with group 2 and group 2 with group 3 as we have done in step 1. The same thing we supposed to write in step 3. Now let me compare group 1 with group 2 of step 2. That is, let me compare 1, 3 which is nothing but 0, 0, dash 1. So to do the comparison between this and this, let us see where there is a dash in this group 2. So here we can see at second bit there is a dash. But when we see the remaining numbers, so here it is differ by more than 1 bit. So there is no difference of one bit between one three and any of these
group 2. Now let me compare 1, 9 with any of this. Here it is begin with dash. Now let's see where there is a dash in group 2. So here we can find 1 dash. But here it is differ by more than 1 bit. So we should ignore. So we can see that there is no any single bit difference between group 1 and group 2 data. Now let me compare group 2 with group 3. So here we have 3, 7. Here we have dash. So in group 3, there is no any dash in second bit. Definitely there is no a comparison. Let's ignore this. Now let me compare 6, 7 with any of this data. So here we have dash. So here we can find a dash. Now let's see the other numbers. Here we have 0, 1, 1 dash. Here we have 1, 1, 1 dash. So it is differ by 1 bit. That is MSB bit. Now let me consider 6, 7, 14, 15. So we supposed to write here 6, 7, that is this one, 14, 15, 14, 15. So it is 6, 7, that is differ by 1 bit, that is dash, 1, 1, dash. So let me consider this is A, B, C and D. So now let me consider 614 with any of this data. Here we have dash. Here we have dash. So 110. Here we have 111. So it is differ by 1 bit. Let me consider 614, 715. 614, 715. So here we have dash 11. And it is differ by 1 bit. That is LSB. We have dash. Similarly, let me consider 913. So in, in 913, we have second bit dash. Here we don't find any dash in second bit. So there is no any comparison. When we compare 1014, here there is second bit dash. So we don't find anything. Ignore. Now let me see 1213. There is a dash on last bit. So here we have last bit dash. Let's compare the other bits. Here we have 110. Here we have 111. So this bit is differ. Let me consider 12, 13, 14, 15. 12, 13, 14, 15. So 12, 13 is 11, 11, 14, 15 is dash, dash. It is dash, dash. Similarly, let me consider 12, 14. So here we have second bit dash. Here we have second bit dash. Let's compare the remaining bits. Here we have 1, 1. Here also we have 1, 1. But last bit is differ by 1 bit. Let me consider 12, 14 and 13, 15. 12, 14, 13 and 15. It is 1, 1, dash, dash. So we have done all the comparison between group in step 2. So here we have to stop this process. As we have reached all the comparison is done. Now the next step is. So here we can see that 6, 7, 14, 15 and 6, 14, 7, 15. It, it consists of same min terms and this is also same min terms. Here, as here we can see we have dash 1, 1 dash. Here also we have dash 1, 1 dash. So instead of considering these two we have to consider only once. So let me strike this. I don't consider this. Similarly, here we have 12, 13, 14, 15. Here also we have 12, 13, 14, 15. It contains same min terms. Even the value that is 1, 1, dash, dash. Here also 1, 1, dash, dash. Let's ignore any one. Let me strike this. I don't use this. So here I will use either this or this or this or this. So the next step is here we have so now here 6, 7, 14, 15 min terms we have considered that is done by comparison with step 2. So we have to check mark those min terms. So 6, 7, this is 6, 7, put check mark this. 14, 15, here we have 14, 15. Then we have 6, 14, 7, 15. It is 6, 14, 7, 15. Then we have 12, 13, 14, 15. That is 12, 13, 14, 15 is already covered. We have to ignore. Then we have 12, 14, 13, 15. Here we have 12, 14, 13, 15. So now similarly, 1, 3. So here min term 1 is covered, 3 is covered, 1, 9. 
one is already covered nine put check mark for this similarly we have three seven here we have three and seven put check mark for this six seven six and we have seven already covered six fourteen six and fourteen then we have nine thirteen nine and thirteen then we have ten fourteen we have ten and fourteen twelve thirteen that is twelve and thirteen we have twelve fourteen twelve and fourteen we have seven fifteen that is seven and fifteen thirteen and fifteen fourteen and fifteen so now we have to consider then the mean terms where there is no check mark so those mean terms are known as or mean terms or the product terms are known as prime implicants now let me leave let me write the prime implicants that is list of prime implicants so here we can see that in step 1 all mean terms are covered so there is no any prime implicant so here 1 3 and 1 9 there is no check mark so these two are prime implicants we supposed to consider that is 1 3 1 9 1 3 and we have 1 9 so here we can see 1 3 is nothing but 0 0 dash 1 so it can be represented as a bar b bar where there is a dash we have to ignore and it is d where there is one we have to take the direct variable if it is zero we have to take complement so with respect to 1 3 it is written as a bar b bar d let me write that we have a bar b bar d similarly for 1 9 here we have we should ignore this b bar c bar d b bar c bar d so likewise here there is no check mark it is prime implicant 37 that is a bar c d 37 a bar c d next we have 913 which is a c bar d we have 9 13 the value of this is a c bar d next we have 10 14 that is a c d bar 10 14 it is a c d bar then we have so these all things are over in step 3 we have here 6 7 14 15 15 there is no check mark that is 6 7 14 15 15 the value of this is as we can see here it is dash bc dash it means it is bc let me write bc similarly here we have 12 13 14 15 that is ab so with respect to 12 13 14 15 it is a b so here we can see that we have seven prime implicants once after writing the prime implicants we supposed to find essential prime implicant that gives the result so to find essential prime implicant we have to write prime implicant chart so this is long horizontal we supposed to write all given prime implicant numbers those are we here here we have prime implicants are 1 3 6 7 10 12 13 14 15 15 these all numbers we supposed to write horizontally that is we have 1 3 6 7 9 10 12 13 14 and 15 so now these prime implicants we supposed to write here so let me write that is first one is 1 3 so it is 1 3 so its value is a bar b bar d 
let me write that a bar b bar t then we have one nine that is b bar c bar d one nine that is b bar c bar d then we have three seven a bar c d three seven a bar a bar c d then we have nine thirteen that is a c bar d a c bar d nine thirteen so then we have ten fourteen that is a c d bar a c d bar ten fourteen then next prime implicant is six seven fourteen fifteen b c six seven fourteen fifteen that is b c next we have twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen a b twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen its value is a b so now after writing these numbers now we supposed to put cross mark wherever there is a prime implicant for example here we have one three so for one put a cross mark three put a cross mark like this here we have one nine so in one there is a cross mark and for nine put a cross mark like this then we have three seven three seven nine thirteen we have nine thirteen then ten fourteen it is ten fourteen six seven fourteen fifteen six seven fourteen fifteen twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so now the next step is now we supposed to choose the column which is having only one cross mark here we can see that in min term 15 we have two cross mark ignore this here we have three here we have two and in 12 we have only one cross mark choose this put a circle for this like this and in 10 we have one cross mark here we have two here we have two here we can see that there is only one cross mark so here we have two here we have two now here these cross marked circled min terms are the essential prime implicants so here a c d bar so this cross mark is with respect to row a c d bar this is with respect to prime implicant b c and this is with respect to a b so these three are essential prime implicants essential prime implicants are the one which must exist in the result so these are essential prime implicants this and this are essential prime implicants so the next step is let me consider the essential prime implicant this one that is it covers the min term 12 13 14 and 15 put the check mark for 12 13 14 15 so this prime implicant covers these four min terms so put the check mark for that now consider this essential prime implicant which covers 6 7 14 15 6 7 14 15 already done so next we have 10 14 that is acd bar 10 and 14 is already covered now here you can see that the min term 6 7 10 12 13 14 15 are covered which are marked with check mark the remaining are 1 3 9 so now we supposed to consider the prime implicant which covers the remaining min terms so if i consider 1 and 3 it will cover two min term 1 and 3 so let me consider 1 and 3 prime implicant so this is 1 and this is 3 so now except 9 all are check mark so now let me consider one more prime implicant which covers 9 so here we can see that this 9 13 will cover 9 as well 1 9 will cover 9 so among these two we can consider any one let me consider 1 9 
so let me consider this so it covers 1 and 9 1 and 9 so with this we can see that all min terms are check marked so let me write the result now that is final boolean expression which is f is equal to so here we have to consider these two prime implicants in the result that is a bar b bar d a bar b bar d plus here we have b bar c bar d b bar c bar d plus so next here we have essential prime implicant which is a c d bar a c d bar plus next we have this essential prime implicant which is b c b c plus then we have another essential prime implicant which is a b a b so this is the final expression which is simplified boolean expression So this is the required result. Now let me, so now I will solve the same expression using k map and I will verify that. Here let me simplify the same function using k map. This is a, b, c, d. So 1, 3, 6, 7, 1, 3, 6, 7. We have 9, 10, 9 and 10. We have 12, 13, 5 using these four numbers. So the value of this is here the common term is 1 which is with respect to C. Here the common term is 1 with respect to B. So value of this is BC. Next here I can use one more quad. The value of this is we have AB, A and B. So now these two one I can make a pair. The value of this is here the common term is 1 that is a and it is b it is c d bar a c d bar so now here i can see another pair which covers these two one the value of this is so it belongs to these two column the common term is d a bar b bar d that is a bar b bar and d so now here we have one, this one and this one. The value of this is, so common number between these two row is 0, that is B bar. So here it is C bar D, C bar 